Hey gang, the official, unofficial tastemakers of YouTube. Oh, absolutely. Have arrived. We're at Alex Beer Reviews. I'm Dan. I'm Mike. Dan, I like the look of this beer. It's, it's flashy, but there's no label on it, so that can only mean one thing. Minimalistic label. And we like that sort of thing yeah. here. <laughs> Wild Card Wednesday, yeah! bitches! All right, Dan, where do we get this one from? Uh, Gotta be a viewer of the channel. Someone who supports us unconditionally and helps us out. So it used to be a viewer of the channel <laughs> who no longer supports the channel. And then this is their way of making up for all the wrongdoings of not liking and sharing. And Are all they at least still stuff. subscribed? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this comes from the other half of the FLX Beer Reviews channel. Nikki. My wonderful, Ooh, look at that. Uh, my look wonderful at that. spouse. Helping us out my, in our my, time of need. My, my bread to my butter, my jam to my peanut butters. Uh, so yeah, so what she did is gave, gave her a little challenge. Said, hey, go to the, go to the beer store and uh, just buy whatever speaks to you and wrap her up and let's do some wild cards, baby. So that's what we're doing. All right, let's um, do it. Let's crash just, this thing you know, open. It's just so fun doing these. And it's know, like, you know, know, you rely on the, the beer mail and stuff. And you know, when the beer mail is not here, it's dried up. It's dried up, baby. So which beer store did she go to? Uh, she went over to uh -oh. Dia Prima's. What the? Dia Prima's. Is that even a no. store still? No, it's a Quickly's in Fairfield. Oh, Quickly's. That's right. Uh, so yeah, I'm very interested to see what she picked out. She got. She became very stressed about this. She's yes. like, I don't know if it's good quality. I said, that's nah, not about that. This channel's not good quality, so no, it really doesn't matter. It's just about. Can you stump us? I'm already thinking some sort of uh, sour. Um. Yeah, or uh, EQIPA, one of the two. <laughs> so, all right. So it's it's very like grapefruit juicy, like yeah. Tropicana grapefruit juice. That or like a, maybe like a, a real like cherry and watermelon kind of. Yeah, thing. I don't know. yeah. There's a little like half finger foamy film head very, on it. It's it's very murky. It is. Yeah. It is. It's like yeah. If, it swirls up. Nice. Yeah. So it's a it's good whiff. Oh. It's like, it. So it's fruity, but there's like this dessert thing going on. Is that maple syrup? It's like pecans and maple syrup. Yeah, I can see where you're saying maple. Or is that like graham cracker? Maybe. Are you get any fruit out of it? Yeah, I mean, I'm getting like a. Man, it's like like a, like a raspberry. Okay. Like a dull raspberry. It's not very fruity. It's no. very pastry-esque. Yeah. Like, it, it, like it's like a pastry. Maple syrup, syrup graham cracker kind of like. I mean, mortalis comes to mind. But yeah, maple, maple pecan, like graham cracker. And there's a hint of fruit in there. Like maybe a cherry. Should we dive in? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's do it. Cheers. Mm. Super carbonated. Maybe not super, but it's carbonated soda. Super duper. Super. Super. Super duper carbonated. Um, body's kind of full. Mm -hmm. It does have kind of a creamy softness behind that carbonation, though. There's got to be. It's tart. There's some tartness, though. So that I think that there's got to be cherry in here. Cherry or raspberry. I'm kind of on my initial... Maple, pecan, graham, like cherry. You getting any like a uh, marshmallow or vanilla? There's thing? a sweetness. But, ah, man. Some sort of pastry dessert sour thing. Yeah. It's, yeah, that's definitely pastry. You know what? Subconsciously, I could see her getting something like this because that's what she drinks. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, this is a lot of fun. This is a good. This is a good one to start off with. I like this. Refreshing. It is refreshing. What do you do? You, what do you um? Man, there is this. It's like yeah, vanilla. Yeah, the, there's vanilla, yeah. maple, graham cracker. It's like sort of like like other half crunchies. I know. It, oh, okay. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just that like brunch kind of like sour kind of thing yeah i've forgotten about that but now that you mention it yeah what do, what do you rate this before we do anything <sighs> boy i'll give I mean, it I, I 
I'll give it a three nine. Okay. I don't know if I could drink a whole can, but for what it is, like if you like that sort of thing, like the the maple, the pecan, the graham cracker, the the fruit, the little bit of sweetness in there. I <laughs> Again, this is all what we think is in there. Yeah, but it, this I'm, could be like I'm just saying what I'm getting off this. Like if you like that sort of thing, I think you're in the, the soda fruitness, the bit of soda pop carbonation. I'll give it a four. I like okay. it. I like it because it's it, it's sweet, it's tart, it's acidic, but it's not uh, it's not like crazy. I'm not getting like heartburn. It's very spritzy, bright, kind of fresh. Still, it's very spritzy. Yeah, for being like pastry. Yeah, man. Hmm. It's interesting. I like it. All right. The more I'm drinking, I was like, man, good. Should we find out what it is? Well, we got to guess. You already found the... That's how uh, uh, often uh, we do these, right? Uh, and we call ourselves tastemakers. Oh, that, just put on a song and dance. <laughs> it's just so cringe, just, okay? <laughs> you know what? I, I can't help it sometimes. We're a cringy channel. Um, I, I'm saying it's a... I'm going with my initial reaction. It, yeah. it's, it's a pastry sour with maple... I'm gonna say pecans, okay. graham cracker. I think that all the adjuncts are in there. Some cherry. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna say cherry's the fruit. Yeah, I, I, I can't tell you the. I mean, Mortalis was the first okay. thing to come to mind. What about ABV? Ooh, ABV. Yeah. Ooh, boy. <sighs> Alcohol. Dang. I, I recently got a request saying. No, you guys don't do a lot of IBU action on the channel. Never mention the IBUs. Mm -hmm. IBUs is like a thing of the, It's very hard. A lot of breweries do not list IBUs anymore. I, I when I see them on there, I'm almost like, oh look, they put the IBUs yeah. on here. That's interesting. I mean, we used to like it's international like, bullshit units. Yeah, and it's like it a, almost like a relic of the past at this point. Unless yeah. you're like, unless you're like, uh, you have to submit it like uh, New York State Festival, right? Sure, sure. Uh, yeah. You know, BJPC, you know, bullshit. Oh, Okay, so did I'm gonna say Cripes, I don't know. I'll go seven and a half. Okay. Hmm. The body is there. I was gonna say six something, Mouth, but I was like, man, there's some body. Mouth to is it. Full, kind of full, but is that like a lactose thing? Okay, I'm gonna say a cherry vanilla. Cherry vanilla sour with Graham cracker. Okay. Six percent. Okay. All right. Open her up. Man, what a. <laughs> uh, by the way, uh, Nikki numbered these, I think, for her own sanity out. Uh, but it's number one. Yeah. Number one. A so. good one to start on. I'm, I'm impressed. I'm really excited to see what this is. You know, if I nail one of these, it's like people are going to be like, well, you know, because she told... No. No, I, no. Seriously, we kept this... I, I was, like, dying to do yeah. mystery. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I yeah. Like, I... Oh, my gosh. Really? Are you serious? We've had this. It's the... At the it's fence, well, the I had it. Had I had a can. It's the Kettlehead. Oh, my God, yeah. Joe, Joe, <laughs> Joe loved this beer. Joe reviewed it. Uh, so this is Kettlehead Brewing, and this is their Pulp Up the Late Night Jam. <laughs> it's their collab with Definitive. Uh... Okay, yeah. Ready? Yep. Yep. I still have my can I, in the fridge. Ray. <laughs> right? Triple stack strawberry, chocolate chip pancakes, and whipped cream. Pancakes, whipped cream, I can see we kind of got, but man. So I strawberry, I was mixing for cherry. Yep, me too. Um, pancakes, that's where the maple, maple syrup, syrup comes in into play. I still need Chocolate. I know. Wait, now that... Okay. You know, it's got the whole... What do they, what do they call that effect? When you... Get indoctrinated when you, someone oh, tells you. Know, yeah, I don't, um, words are hard, thoughts are hard. Uh, whipped cream. So there's a vanilla. I yep, think yep. Uh, we did seven. Wow, well, ABB. What'd you say? I said seven and a half. Eight percent. Oh, I was really. I Dang. said six percent. That's where that body comes from. Here you go. Check out the can. That is so funny because I have. I still have the can of this in the fridge, and I yeah. just haven't drank because I'm like gross. That's Joe gave terrible. this like a five for what it is. Yeah, Joe's just. Uh, I'm kind of excited to drink this now. All right. It's very good. Good call. All right. Right on. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, that's uh, another mystery beer. Wildcard Wednesday in the books. Yeehoo. Um, many applauses to the other half sure. of that FLX. Sure. Thank you. Maybe if you just get delicate spice on board with this philosophy. 
She'll end up getting some rolling rock or something like that. This goes a keys! It won't even wrap it, probably just the label so the green bottle. Anyway. All right. Um, so, yeah, down description, link trees. Uh, so we got all the social medias on this bad boy. Uh, hit us up. Uh, if you want to see more Wildcard Wednesdays mystery beers, yeah, let's know. You can uh, help solve that problem. Just putting that out there. Even if it's a <laughs> box with one can in it. They're just sending a piece of paper and they're like, go buy this. Get Act fucked, like you don't know it. Uh, all right. Yeah, anyway. I can't get there. I feel like I'm shilling the, the viewers for the mystery beers. Thanks for watching, everybody. Cheers.